Have you ever been intimidated by a bully? Have you ever been a bully? In this five to seven minute speech, Lyndon will share some personal experiences on the devastating effects of bullying. He will also share the beauty and friendship that can develop when ugly situations are handled with kindness and care. In this entertaining speech, How to Beat a Bully, Lyndon's objectives are to entertain the audience by relating a personal experience, organize the entertaining speech for maximum impact. Lyndon Jones, How to Beat a Bully. me, swings me around, and slams me up against the wall. Lyndon, you're the best friend I've ever had. What was the final words I heard as this bully walked away with his friends? A few hours later, my friend was dead. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. Bullies kill our victims. Bullies kill families. Bullies kill themselves. So how does a person go from being your best friend to being a bully? How do we beat a bully? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. When I was in fourth grade, I longed for a friend, that someone that you could connect with. That is where I met Todd. He was the nicest person, always well-dressed, perfect hair, the perfect friend for me. We play all day, it seemed like recesses went on forever. We talk about anything with him. At the end of the fourth grade, they build another school, and darn it, the rest of my grade school years, he was in one school and I was in another. That's okay, because by the time junior high got around, we were back together again. Through junior high and high school, our friendship was rekindled. And then at the beginning of our junior year, Todd seemed to change. This once happy-go-lucky person became me. His attitude was nasty. His looks were different. Him four or five of his friends shaved their heads bald. One day, I was in my shop class. Him and his few friends came in, unwelcomed and unwanted. They started to act like they owned the place. I couldn't believe it. As they approached another friend of mine, one that I've known since I could walk, he started pushing around. Now this kid, even though he was a few years younger than them, was not about to take this. This kid was a bull riding cowboy that had an attitude. Don't underestimate it. They decided to take their conflict out into the hall. And that's where I got involved. I was not what you would call a bouncer. I was small. In fact, I was usually on the front, not usually, always on the front row for school <laughs> pictures. <laughs> to say I was a late bloomer would be an understatement. I was no bouncer. But I did not want to see my friends fight, so I stood in between them. Lyndon, as he grabbed me by the shirt, get out of the way or I'm going to whip your butt too. I said, no, I'm not going to let you fight. That's where he swung me around and slammed me against the wall said those final words to me. You, the best friend I ever had. As he pushed me aside and walked away. You know the rest of the story. It's a tragic ending. As I knelt next to my daughter by her bed one night, 
she finished her prayer and she looked over at me and she said, Dad, how do you beat a bully? So I laid next to her in bed and listened to her describe what she was enduring in school. I could hardly believe what I was hearing. She was barely old enough to ride a bike. And what she was enduring in school was breaking my heart. How could this be happening to my child? How could this be going on at a public or a private school? I told her, Paisley, you don't worry about a thing. Dad is going to handle this situation. A few days later, I found myself at the school on the playground as Paisley pointed out that evil little kid. As we marched over to him, I knew what I was going to say. But my mind went blank as I looked at this sweet, innocent little child. He was no mean, evil kid. He was somebody's brother, somebody's son. A child of God. All I could think to do was talk to him. So I started to talk. My daughter must have thought I was out of my mind. And then I played with him. And through that whole recess, we played and we had a good time. Every time I'd go to that school from then on, he would be the first one to come up to me and welcome me. Always made me feel happy. And his friendship and my daughter's friendship lasted the whole year long. I've had experiences throughout my life with bullies. My best friends, my brothers, church members, my ex-wife. <laughs> How is it that the people you love and trust the most can be so mean and ugly? So I found myself on my knees asking, Father, how can a person go from being your best friend to being a bully? How do you beat a bully? And as I waited, I thought I heard, or what was it, a feeling in my heart? It said, Lyndon, don't worry about those bullies. That's my job. Your job is to love. <laughs>